Hello friends, I'm Dr. Ashish Agrawat. Welcome to my channel, Live Biochemistry. Today, I'm going to discuss about the chlorine mineral. So we will discuss about the why chlorine is important, what is the norm, normal function of chlorine, and if there is a chlorine toxicity in the water, and if level is increased, then it will lead to the fluorosis, and it will lead to the dental fluorosis as well as skeletal fluorosis. You can see in the background the picture of the dental fluorosis. So the toxicity is we have to take care while we are talking about the fluorine. So this will be very important video, short video, and it will be useful to you. So watch this video till the end. And if you are new to this channel, subscribe to my channel. So now I am sh sharing the screen with you. So what is fluorine? So fluoride is known to prevent the caries. Caries is a Latin term meaning the decay. So it will prevent the decay of the teeth, fluorine. And it is, sources is solely derived from the drinking water. So drinking water is the main source of the fluorine. And if in the drinking water, if fluorine level is more, it will lead to the condition called as a fluorosis. Now normal blood level of the fluorine is around 4 microgram per deciliter. Requirement, safe limit of the fluorine is about 1 ppm per water. ppm is parts per million. Means 1 ppm is equal to 1 gram of fluorine in million gram of water. This is equal to 1 milligram per 1000 ml. Daily intake of fluoride should not exceed 3 milligram as it is a toxic element. For an adult individual, the lethal dose is around 2.5 gram. Okay. Now, in the pits and fissure of the premolar and molar teeth, there is a bacterial fermentation of the residual food. It will lead to the acid production. This acid will remove the enamel and dentine to expose the pulp, leading to inflammation and toothache. Now, topical application of the fluoride will result in the fluoroapatite layer of the enamel which protect the animal from the decay by the acid. So dentists use this fluoride paste to prevent the dental caries and toothache. Now how this fluoride is absorbed and excreted? It is absorbed by the diffusion from the intestine. It is present in significant amount in calcified tissue like bone and teeth. It is excreted mainly via the urine. Now what are the normal function of this fluoride? It has a role in the tooth development and in the dental health and also in the role in the bone development. Now, role in the tooth development and dental health. It helps in the tooth development, normal maintenance and hardening of the dental enamel and prevention of the dental caries. So, enamel, as we know, it is a protective layer and by that, chlorine will prevent the dental caries. Incidence of dental caries are seen in areas where drinking water contains less than 0.5 ppm. So, normal requirement is around 1 ppm, 1 to 2 ppm. But if the fluoride contains less than 0.5 ppm, it will lead to the dental caries, right? And greater than 1.2 ppm of the fluoride in drinking water in infant may increase the fluoride content of the enamel dentine and it may reduce the calcium deposition in the tissue and may cause the mottling of the enamel and newly erupted permanent teeth. Okay, so if level is more, it will lead to the discoloration, mottling, okay, corrosion and stratification of the enamel and that will be uh, dangerous. Now, role in the bone development, very small amount of fluorine in the food and drinking water promote the normal bone development, increase the retention of calcium and phosphorus and prevent the old age osteoporosis. High fluoride intake may raise the fluoride content of the bone, stimulate the osteoblastic activity and cause abnormal rise in the calcium deposition and increase the density of the bone. So high fluoride level it will lead to the skeletal fluorosis. So what is fluorosis? It is a crippling disease. It is more dangerous than the caries. Caries, is, we can take care, but if it is more, it mm -hmm. can damage. So it will damage the mitochondrial damage, inhibit the particularly the magnesium dependent enzyme. Okay, magnesium dependent enzymes like we have seen in the glycolysis hexokinase and all that. Okay, enolase. So they will be inhibited by the fluorosis. 10 to 40 percent reduction in protein content of the various organs suggestive of inhibition of protein synthesis by the fluoride. Okay, steroid production is also impaired because of the fluorosis. Collagen content is found to be reduced and its biosynthesis is adversely affected due to reduced fluorine uptake. So now you can see there is a mild variety, very mild variety. Okay, discoloration of the teeth, 
right? You can see this is a discoloration, and if there is a more fluoride level, it will lead to the severe dental fluorosis. Now, this is a picture of the skeletal fluorosis, genu vulgum, skeletal deformity is seen. Certain salts used in the pan supari also contain large content of the fluoride, and it will lead to the fluorosis. So, sea fish, keys, key, jowar, they can be the also the source of fluoride. Fluorosis is highly prevalent in areas where jowar is the staple diet. Fluorinated toothpaste contains 3000 ppm of the fluoride. Even ordinary toothpaste contains the 700 ppm of the fluoride. So, we have to take care to prevent the fluorosis. So, how we can prevent the fluorosis, dental and skeletal fluorosis? To provide the fluoride free water, there is a technique called as the Nalgonda technique. Okay, thus you have to remember the name Nalgonda technique to prevent the fluorosis. Then restriction of the intake of jowar. If jowar contains good amount of fluoride, so we have to restrict that diet. Supplementation of vitamin C will be helpful and regulation of fluoride containing toothpaste and also drinking water we can treat free by the Nalgonda technique. So this is all about the fluoride. Okay, so if I summarize fluoride, it is required for the prevent the dental caries and normal enamel formation and bone formation and teeth formation, it is normally required. But if level and normal required is around 1.5 ppm. If it is less than 0.5 ppm, it will lead to the dental caries. But if it is more than 1.5 or 1.2 ppm, it will lead to the skeletal and dental fluorosis. Because then the discoloration modeling of the teeth occur and teeth will be damaged. There is a skeletal deformity can also occur because of the increased level of fluoride. This is all about the fluoride. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share my video, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for my future video also. Thank you.